Will the Mason Blue finally get it done in 2019? Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, teaming up with SG1 Sports Big Ten Channel to bring you Michigan football coverage and the six reasons why Michigan will win the Big Ten in 2019. Finally, the Wolverines have not won the conference that they own the most championships in since 2004. Ironically, that season, the Wolverines lost to Ohio State 37-21. They've only beaten the Buckeyes once. That was in 2011 between Jim Tressel and Urban Meyer's tenures once that 2011 season since 2003. You would think that that would be a big key, uh, beating the best team in the conference and the team that has owned the Big Ten since Michigan won in 2004. Even Michigan State's won a couple championships, Wisconsin as well. And uh, though Michigan, it's been a 15-year drought, the longest in the history of the conference for Michigan in winning conference championships. All right, reason number one why Michigan will finally get it done in 2019 in the Big Ten. Reason number one, they still should have the best defense in the Big Ten. The defense was shredded at the end of last season, and that's the perception we take into the offseason. They hit Columbus with the number one defense in the country. Uh, just to size up Michigan's defensive efforts against the rest of the Big Ten was remarkable. If you go week to week and look at the scores and look at the yardage given up, for example, against Michigan State, Michigan only gave up a touchdown because the offense fumbled inside the 5 or 10 yard line. They gave up less than 100 yards of total offense to Michigan State. Week after week after week after week, they dominated. Then all of a sudden, they hit Columbus, gave up 62 points to Dwayne Haskins, Mike Weber, J.K. Dobbins, and that Ohio State a wide receiver core and just looked slow-footed, couldn't keep up with the Buckeyes. Then got thrashed defensively against Florida, giving up 41 points to a Gators offense that was not dynamic in the Peach Bowl in a 41-15 loss. Well, that one could be excused a little bit more than the Ohio State game because of Rashawn Gary and Devin Bush, their two best defensive players, sat out for that game. But the rest of the season, they were dominant, and that's been a trend since Jim Harbaugh took over. Harbaugh's been there for four years, and Michigan's had a top four defense in the nation all four years. That's pretty remarkable when you think about it. And despite the late season letdown, number one in the nation in total defense in 2018. Again, Rashawn Gary gone. Chase Winovich moves on to the NFL, as well as Devin Bush, are their three best players generally are gone. So you would think a big letdown's coming. I don't see it, though. Uh, Kalik Hudson's back is the best player on the defense, and Michigan still has recruited so strongly on that side of the football. Maybe they don't finish in the top four in the nation in total defense, but certainly a top 10 to 20 defense nationally and most likely the best unit in the Big Ten. Reason number one, Michigan wins the Big Ten is defense. Reason number two, big changes to the offense. Scrap the fullback, take away a lot of the heavy tight end formations, ball control, slug it up the middle, and replace that with all sorts of spread formations with four and five wide receivers, uh, RPOs aplenty, also different tempos, not necessarily hurry up all the time, but if the spring game is an indication and it seems as though Michigan wanted to showcase the offense in the spring game and show us what they had and what that new look was going to look like. They changed the tempos. They're looking to change the defenses and keep the defense off balance uh, with a lot of fake hurry up and a lot of actual up-tempo offense. So the Michigan offense is going to be completely different with still the ability to bring in the tight ends. They still have the personnel on the roster run the football, protect a lead, but have the best of both worlds where they have updated the offense and may finally be able to match some of the better teams on the schedule and take advantage of what has been exceptional recruiting at wide receiver in recent years, but they haven't taken advantage of it uh, because of the style of offense. So Michigan's number two reason why they will break through and win the Big Ten this year is a revamped offense. All right, reason number three, Connected to reason number two, because the wide receivers are going to be very comfortable in this offense, and so is Shea Patterson, who's most likely the best quarterback in the Big Ten. 
65% completion percentage last year, 2,600 yards passing, 22 touchdowns, 7 picks for Shea Patterson. That is the best QBR for any Michigan quarterback going back to Drew Henson in 2000. Uh, Josh Gaddis is the new offensive coordinator at Michigan. Uh, this is Shea Patterson's sixth consecutive season of playing football with a new offensive coordinator. So that doesn't necessarily bode well unless you take into account the style of offense. This is the offense that Shea Patterson's used to running at Ole Miss and in high school, and he should be comfortable in getting used to a new offensive coordinator this time. The wide receivers as well. Actually, all the skill position players played in this style of offense in high school, so it's a great fit for the personnel, and it should keep the defenses off balance. So reason number three why Michigan's going to win the Big Ten this season is Shea Patterson at quarterback. Reason number four, the Wolverines break through and win the Big Ten in 2019. Jim Harbaugh. Yes, I know that he has not just struggled in big games, basically failed in big games. He's won a bowl game. He's lost the rest of his bowl games. He's, of course, 0-4 against Ohio State. But there's a reason he's making all the money. His track record is exceptional. From San Diego to Stanford to the San Francisco 49ers, he has taken over losing programs and won championships. Raise them to the elite portion of that level of football. Whether it's San Diego, Stanford, 4-8 and eight, to winning 12 games and major bowl games. San Francisco was 2-14 and 14 before he arrived. Took them to three consecutive NFC Championship games and a Super Bowl. And even in Michigan, though the results don't look good at the end of the season because they can't beat the elite teams, i.e. Ohio State, the difference in Michigan football right now versus when Mich uh, Jim Harbaugh took over following the 2014 season is undeniable. He's upgraded the talent, and the win percentage increase is substantial. Not winning the big games of the championships, but winning consistently at 38 and 12. Now, Jim Harbaugh is the time to win the meaningful games. Reason number four, Michigan wins the Big Ten finally here in 2019 is their head coach, Jim Harbaugh. Reason number six, actually reason number five, that Michigan will win the Big Ten this season is they've got Ohio State at home. You may say, what does that matter? The Buckeyes win in Ann Arbor all the time. Uh, yes, the last time Michigan won this game against the Buckeyes, the game in 2011 was in Ann Arbor, but that was with Luke Fickle on the Ohio State sideline and not Jim Tressel or Urban Meyer. You have to go all the way back. You have to go back to 2003 to find a Michigan win at home against Ohio State with a regular, not interim head coach on the sideline for Ohio State. But being at home means something. It still means something. If you look at the scores, look at the competition on the field between Michigan and Ohio State, in Ann Arbor, despite the losses, Michigan has played well against the Buckeyes, and even some bad Michigan teams have taken Ohio State to the wire. So it does mean something having Ohio State at home this season. So reason number five that Michigan wins the Big Ten this year is it probably is going to come down to that game, and they play Ohio State at home. All right, reason number six that Michigan will win the Big Ten in 2019 is that it just flat out has to happen sometime. Everybody wins a conference championship, and especially the better teams in the conference finally break through and win at some point. Take a survey of all the Power Five conferences, and you're going to see a smattering of teams despite the dominance of Alabama, Clemson, Oklahoma in the Big 12. You're going to see over the course of 15 or 20 years other teams break through and win the conference, of course. So Michigan's winning consistently 75 to 80 percent of its game, so they have to break through, don't they? And consider that even though Ohio State has better talent on the roster, it's not substantially better. It's decidedly better, but not substantially. Michigan has comparable talent to Ohio State. Not quite as good, but comparable. And we also have the X factor in Columbus, the quarterback and the head coach. Justin Fields and Ryan Day could be a great pair, or it could be a transitional year for Ohio State where Michigan has 
the big time quarterback and the big time coach and a decided known factor advantage over Ohio State at the quarterback position and head coach. Six reasons why Michigan will win the Big Ten in 2019. Would love to get your prediction on Michigan football this year. Will they win the Big Ten championship? Lock it in here to SD1 Sports Big Ten channel. Join me and Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, for the best in discussion, debate, and analysis as well as we will continue to set you up for the 2019 college football season.